our lanes, we gotta go, we gotta push, we gotta take Wings high ground, and we can't mess up on that high ground push. Pick. They look good in the later parts of the game, sieging high ground, we had this Alchemist and Pugna and all that other nonsense, but in the mid game, Wish could put a lot of pressure on Wings. Now we haven't seen too much of that, that safe lane slaughter as they were talking about during the panel on the draft. Mm -hmm. What do you think about itemization? It used to be maybe that armlet coming out before. We do see blink daggers obviously very common, but... Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. I'm not sure if that's something we're going for. Ice Ice in trouble, actually. They're going to try to go on him. The open wounds turn for Shadow, but now Ice Ice, he gets the Fisher, does stun out the Nyx Assassin. Might have the Impale ready to go for Garter. Pretty fast. Old Chicken has the Slurring Crush ready, I would imagine. He does. Impale will go, and they will set up for Old Chicken to come out with the Slurring Crush. They'll find it, and with a couple more right clicks, Old Chicken will get first blood down to the safe lane for Eon. Yeah, they'll get it for sure, but a great Nyx stun. Canceled that in the beginning of the game. They needed that advantage to get a fast boots on Lifesteal or something like that to give them more lane pressure. And at every turn, well, in this case, Witch Doctor actually did get the DD. Yeah, he's gonna go with the cast gun to Garter. No, won't go to the creeps. There's the Fisher. Ooh, he has a lot Fisher. of damage. Look at the right click with that double damage rune from Innocence. Oh my, the Maledict is gonna take him down. They want to give it to the Earthshaker perhaps, but no, it will be the Witch Doctor picking up that last hit. He's shown a big advantage, even though it doesn't stun for very long. Just adding that extra step can give your ranger like what Dr. Rector did. Great stun rotation if this bounces well. Cross Wex and it will. The cast will bounce once. They have the damage. One more right click. Yes. With the double damage still there at the tail end for Innocence, they're able to secure the kill. That double damage will reel himself instead back towards the lane. And uh, it was very close. Blink yeah. is so low in HP as well. Old Eleven even salving up afterwards. Yeah, saving his magic wand sticks was, was all he needed there to stay alive, but it definitely was a bit close. Just hoping to get the Dark Seer to go more aggressive, to get deeper before he ended up escaping. But he's in trouble again. He's no region. He only has two stick charges. This time he will timber chain, but the surge does come through. One more auto attack, and Old Eleven finds himself a solo kill in this top lane, already with fairly good start. Besides those two kills coming out with a double damage for Witch Doctor, I think Ehome are doing rather well for themselves. Yeah. And here comes that gank again. There's that up to reward and Fisher on the wrong side still. They're going for it. EMP cast coming through the Maldic on top. The Tornado enchant totem him. Not timed correctly, but he should still fall. Battling through, but he cannot get out in time. The Chicken will secure that kill. Man, Fissure actually makes things so easy. It, re it really is incredible for that. It they didn't really uh, react at the right time. The smoke was broken. Mm -hmm. SF had the best chance, but he still got blown up. This is uh, already two. If there's going to be that initiation again, Let's see if it gets a lucky bounce there, here. There is that radiant observer where they will see innocence right now, but according to MVP, it looks like Sauron might not get back in time. A great impel from Garter. There's going to be the Maledict. The cast will come through. Will it bounce? No, but I think still might be looking to kill the race. Comes out. They wanted innocence. He's too speedy. They can't bring him down, even with Garter there. So he can get by for now, at least until the team fights start. He is almost level six, but here comes the rotation from spotted. Wings. They haven't been seen yet in Old Bottom. It looks like he is going to get caught. He has the brain drop, but I don't think that's going to save his life. It's too much damage, great cold snap to cast, it's more than enough damage to bring down. Yeah, uh, maybe a couple attack. mistakes in terms of cold snap procs, but pretty straightforward for him to do that. Garter and Vendetta, Slithering Crush, there's that Blink Dagger, they want this to go for the raid stuff, but people is there as well. The Ghost Walk not in time, they will secure that kill. The Sauron picking it up, Vendetta comes to the easy target, and it looks like that's they who they're moving for. Garter, not gonna spot him yet, now it looks like he will, they've got the vision. Old Chicken's gonna come in with the Slithering Crush, he'll find it. Amplified damage will come up as well, the Impale is out, and that's just too much will be a dead timber saw for 40 seconds. Yeah, the, the hood at least attempt to. TPs are coming in from wings. They're looking to maybe position themselves to fight this. The Chakram will come out. The tower's getting lower and lower. Fisher, no deny, but they want Tyler instead. But the EMP, no ball of tornado. Oh, they Jump into the refresh. They found the Earth Shaker. Timber get up back in wall. Not to do ice ice and throw up evil. No chaotic offering just yet. They might drop it soon. Tyler uses the Requiem. It's a one for one exchange. They've already lost Old Chicken. He's out of the fight. There's a the chaotic offering, but it's just to try to cover their retreat. Garner coming in. They oh. immediately infested the siege creep. Garner was spotted, and now he's got to get out. But the open wounds, the Chakram will keep him in place. And Blake finds himself a double kill. That was a huge fight for Wings. You saw the cold snap coming out. There's so many disabled the Chakram slow. The Fisher, they will find Shadow now. He doesn't have his best reporting. He does, however, have rage. Open wounds, old ticket sprints away. Basically on here to help out, but here comes Garter. There's going to be the impale. They will lose the Warlock for the time being here. He's going to get back in, man, but no follow up. In the our team boots off, now they will have Old Chicken, Death Dwarf can't blink up, might have been going for the high ground, still has it in one second. In a sense, it's gonna be tough, I don't know if you're gonna go for this, Old Chicken can't decide what he wants to do, and now the oh, Fisher hits the cold step, he stayed too long! Slardar just goes in too hard, he really wanted that kill, it's not worth it by again. Dying a couple of times in these last fights, he was doing so well in terms of net worth. You talked about how many hard farmers there are, like 6,000 net worth above, and the Slardar is at 4,000. Fisher comes out, Chakram, the tornado off as well. And that's going to be more than enough to bring Sauer down to Requiem, not in time. 
Blink's running low on mana, is getting up people up as well. He has enough for a tipper tip, but there's the Slithery Cry Slaughter's back alive. Amp damage is up. Can they bring uh, this man down? Shadow Word as well, taking him down with the Fatal Bonds on top of the Impale. They'll find the Life Stealer instead. He does have Rage. The Dark Seer picked up the Midas, so it looks like they're saying, okay, we can bring this to a later point in the game. We can get more items for our Dark Seer at the very least. But they are going to run right to three heroes. The Impale only catches one. They will get the Evoker, but the Slithery Cry Ball. They still have that Rage there. Here comes the Chalk of the Golem Dark Down. Can they get this Evoker? He's low. The EMP they drop to. Tornado stops any more further aggressive. Radiant Jungle. They'll show themselves, I think, down to the bottom of the Tower. Here we go. Garter looking for the initiation phase beyond. Pretty speedy. So the ring crush the impale. They've got the high ground vision. Finally, they get a big kill for Ehome to start things off here. The downside, though, is that fireballs drop down. Look at the damage it's doing. Meanwhile, Innocence has positioned himself beautifully for a cast. Maybe for oh, a death ward. Will he drop it? Yes, he will. Going for all tickets. The mech will go. They'll keep the slaughter alive for now, but they back everybody off. Here comes the Timber Salt. Link is a little bit alone. Old Chicken does dodge that Timber Chain narrowly. And now, believe the Amplified damage is taking a lot. The Southern Crush is available. They've done him coming up with Spike Carapage. They will bring the Temper down. Do they fight any further? Silar TPing out. Looks like he will make it away. The Fisher, no. Nice time. Now he gets messed up. Silar will fall. He just couldn't quite TP in time. It was going to be .10. Uh, they cannot get in position to contest this, especially 4 versus 5. That will provide the Invoker his or get a couple more items in the end. On top. He's going to get a blink on Earthshaker as well. That's a crucial item that's going to turn him. Backing up very quickly. They also smoke. I don't know if that was spotted or not. I don't think it was. I don't think so. They're going to break it momentarily. Old Ticket EMP, but the cold that beautifully top space beyond. They get the fish drop. Old Ticket is done, and this fight is over before it began. Free home. Time to leave. TP comes up. Here comes the death for a chance out of that newly minted point dagger for her. She can find some another. Can they get a third? Old one will be a huge pickup. He does have surge three, but attacking back. They need some sort of disable, and I'm sure they'll have it. It has come through. They find a double kill for Shadow and Wings. Quick timing with a team fight, Radiance which of course top Wings top. have won. There's maybe one, there's maybe been one or two picks that Ehome have gotten, like on that poker, but that's about it. Oh, that slam. They'll find Garter, they will blow him away. Fisher comes out to the Timber Chain, secure the kill. So the Ring Crush, they will find the Earth Shaker, but I'm not sure if it's the best fight. Old Chicken takes a ton of damage from Blake, and they're gonna find more. The Yule Scepter is there, the Chakra is up, the Timber Chain, the Cash bounce through as well. Silent has to pop the BKB, but luckily avoids the shorting. Great plays there by Wings. Getting the kills they need and going high ground super early. 20 seconds for this slaughter before he respawns. Yule Scepter will find that'll be no BKB. Chakram, not there in time. Timber Chain comes out, yeah. Won't be able to connect just yet. The sound is still there, now gone. Here's the tornado on to two. Any follow up, the impale will hit. Avoiding any further damage from this Timber Salt. I don't know if Wings want to go any further. In fact, they will get himself out for Blink and looks like try to run after taking that tier 3 tower. Here's the vacuum. Back on it too. Wall is not there. Face beyond. There's the ghost. Well, Timber Chain. Tyler already getting low. It's 3 crush out of 2, but they have no more damage to follow. And here's the chaotic offering. Maybe this could do some work. Old is going to fall first. And it sits. Will not go down to Old Chicken. Not yet anyway. Face Beyond's going to try to help him out, but not there in time. On the other side of the fight, Lana's getting chased down. Might be able to bring him down. They have so much damage between the light shield and the Timber Salt. EMP. Old Snap is there, but Timber Chain. That's what does the real damage. Double kill for Blink. Timber Saw. That is it. GG. Wing, take control of the early game and proceed to push right on in 28 minutes. Yeah, Seller, not too happy about that one, but an absolute dominant performance by Wings. They messed things, they basically spiced it up with that last thing. They grab Invoker, Ehome saying, whatever, Shadow Fiend versus Invoker, we're going to be able to do this, but it, it messed up all the other lanes that they were expecting to be against, like throwing Timbersaw versus Darkseer, he got pressured a lot, but he did more than enough. Is this a fake GG? Uh, okay. Oh, there's disconnect. All okay, right. fake. Real GG. Real GG. <laughs> well, I'm still having a pretty good time. Uh, I love it. So that's going to be game one going towards wings. A big advantage. They played amazing. I love the Earthshaker pick. They used it in an aggressive trial lane. It benefited them heavily in the mid game as well. Huge victory for wings. And that's one of the other teams that they're afraid of. They said Eho and NP. Well, they, it doesn't look like they have too many things in their way no. to go all the way to the grand finals now. They are very.